Hey y'all, time for another Christmassy video. Today, what we're gonna do is finally debox this beautiful Walmart exclusive holiday 2022 Barbie. And I thought as a bonus, we could also check out this cutie reveal, the little reindeer with the pinky pink hair. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get on into these two beautiful Barbies. You know the drill. We're just gonna get on into it. First, I'm gonna show you the box of the Holiday Barbie just real quick. It has some really pretty poinsettias down here. It says Barbie Signature there. And these kind of have shiny or whatever on the box. It's really, really nice. I like the way they did that. And then here on the back is all the Barbie beauties in the line. I love, I love most of them except for the blonde one. Like I don't hate her or anything, but she looks like most of their other Barbies. So she's not very, you know, unique to me. This one I have, yay, mom got her for me. These two I don't have, but if they put them on sale and I can find them, I will definitely get them because they both have beautiful faces and I love the way they look. It also has a little bit of something something up here at the top if you wanna read it that says Holiday Barbie, but that's basically the box. Nothing but poinsettias on both sides. That's all there is. And the cutie reveal girl is pretty simple. She just has the cute little box art of her on the side there and then that. And then she has on the back all the other ones in the line and that's that's pretty much it. So we're just gonna bust these cuties open. I'm gonna start with the holiday Barbie and then we'll do her kind of on camera because it's easy to do. You don't have to like do any cutting. So we're gonna do that and then come back to you. Okay, we got the beautiful holiday Barbie out of her box jail, but I'm gonna go with this one first because I'm not gonna talk about her as much as the other one. So we're just gonna take her out, all her stuff empty tube. Here's her little insert with all the ladies available in this series. And then the instructions on the back of how to do the color part. She's so cute, it's cracking me up. But we're gonna go with the little accessory things first. I cut them open, but I didn't peek in. I just cut the tops off. Oh, how cute. Look at her little reindeer pal. That's adorable. Love the little antlers and gold, super cute. And then let's see what's in this pinky pink bag. Oh, how cute, look at these antlers with the little pink flowers, pinky, pinky, pink. Those are adorable, and look at this. <gasps> now that's cool, I don't care. That is pink and sparkly with gold, and it looks like a snowflake, and I know it's the comb and like the color reveal thing, because you put the water on there and it does whatever it does to their faces, but I love this, so cool. And then this one, let's see what's in here. It's a little pink skirt. Oh, cute. I love the pinky pink with the little flowers and the gold and the white. It has the bungee top. Loving this. Love, love, love. And this is the last one and it's huge. So I was wondering what, but it's boots, y'all. I didn't even know. These are awesome boots. Look at these boots. Ah, I love these with the faux fur at the top. These are awesome. They should put these in a shoe pack or a fashion pack. These are so, so cool. Look at that. Oh, I love these. These are awesome. Awesome, y'all. Okay, let's just get in on this cute little reindeer girl. We're going to take her little head off and reveal her face. Whoop, up. <laughs> oh, yay for the pink hair, but it's all twizzled up. Look at <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, I tried to straighten it some with my fingers, but it just didn't work. I can't deal with this. I'm going to take her and get it a little wet and brush it so it won't be so crazy for y'all. Hey y'all, we're back. It's a little better, but it's still sticking out all kind of crazy. <laughs> but I love the pink. Pink, pinky, pinky, pink hair. It's so pretty. I really love these tones. This like darker tone under here and then this light pink on top, which is like my perfect baby pink. I just don't like that it's all like messy and waffly. That's not my favorite, but I can fix that later. So, you know, that's not a big deal. The ends are foofy and kind of scraggly looking, you know, to be just out of the box. I don't care for that. That's not fun. And I did, if you can believe it, give it a slight trim and it's still this bad. So that I don't love. But I want to take a look at her cute little hat that messed up her hair, but it's so cute. I love the little helmety things. I love the little hearts on the cheeks being the little blushing that is just so adorable. The antlers, loving the antlers, love the little spotty pattern. And this is super soft, y'all. Super duper soft. So where 
they skimped on the hair, I guess they made up for it on the softness and niceness of this material that they made the like whole big outfit out of. So that's cool. And now I'm gonna put her cute little antler ears on her just because she doesn't have her helmet on anymore. How cute is that? Oh, she's so cute. That is something I do have to mention though that I do not love. I am so warm that I keep making her lip come off and the lip color underneath is like almost nude. So then she looks like she doesn't have any lips to me, <laughs> which I don't care for. And it takes it a really long time to go back to the color. I even put like an ice cube on it when I was doing her hair because I was holding on to her to get it to come back before I started filming and it took it a while. So I don't know if that's just mine, but I just, I don't care for that. I know they're supposed to be cutie reveals, but I wish the lips would just kind of stay the color that they are. <laughs> I put cold on it again and it's still not completely there, but we're gonna move on from that. Okay, we're gonna get on into her little accessory things, her little hoof hands. I do have three other cutie reveals and these are different. These aren't that like hard, icky plastic. They are the soft molded plastic, which is a lot nicer, I do have to say. The panda bear and the bunny and the dog that I have have the like really cheapy plastic hands and these are like rubbery, so I like these better. Better. These are so cute. Oh look, that's supposed to look like a horseshoe and a heart. How cute is that? Oh, I love this. I think I love her a lot. I just don't care for the lip thing. Okay, let's take off her jacket and see what's underneath. Slip it on off. She has gold underwear. That's funny. I figured she'd have pink, but I guess since her accent color is gold, that's why they did that. But look at the inside. Oh! <gasps> Look at this pinky pinkness, this pinky polka dot. Oh, I love this, y'all. Pinky, pinky, pink. This is so pretty and so super duper soft. Let's look at the pants. They're the same as all the other ones with the bungee at the top. And then her little hoof feet. These are so cute. I love these. And it even says Barbie on the bottom with a little horseshoe. How cute is that? Adorbs. Love, love, love that. So super duper cute. And these are pretty easy to get on and off. I love the little thing still. I don't know why. I just think that this is such a cute detail. The little Barbie on the side. Loving that. These are bell bottoms. <laughs> That's funny, but I think they did it so it would look like, you know, reindeer legs or something, but still really cute. Now she has the up, down, side, side, 360 rotation at the shoulder, and she has the elbow joint, no wrist joint, and she has the bend knee. You can push that up and show you the knee joint. Pretty nice knee joint, not all big and clunky. Enjoy that. I don't know why they only go halfway. They do the elbow and the knee and not the wrist. You know, it is what it is, but especially for what they cost. So I wait for them to go on sale because I do like them. I just don't think that their, you know, value for cost is equal. So there she is, the pink, pinky, pink, cutie reveal reindeer. Now we're just gonna get on into this beautiful Walmart exclusive holiday girl. Here is the box insert after I cut her out. And I just am showing you that because it has the certificate on the back and I'm not gonna take that off. I just thought I'd leave it. Mine got crunched in packaging because I had to order her offline. So my box got a little banged up. It's okay. There it is. This beauty, she does come with a stand, which is kind of shocking because they usually don't anymore. You know, her original price was like 40 bucks. Some places it was like 45, some it was 40. I don't know what the deal was with that why it was different at different places. But I got her for the $39.95 on sale, I guess. That was supposed to be the regular price. And then of course she sold out and she was, you know, being scalped for ridiculous, like 70, 80, 90, a hundred dollars, which I was not gonna pay. But when I saw that she was, you know, her regular price, her 39 price, I had to grab her and I shared that with y'all. This face gets me. We're gonna go from bottom to top. And we already talked about the stand. There's really nothing special about it. It's really plain. It's just black with the clear saddle deal. It is a little different though. I do have to say, if you can see that, how it clips up there to hold her model muse legs. And then there are her shoes. I do like these shoes, don't get me wrong. But for a $40 doll and like a specialty doll, you know, I thought there'd be something more. I don't know. And her toenails aren't painted. Her fingernails are, which that I do love. Now she does have the Barbie signature label inside the dress, which I do appreciate love that kind of limited articulation just the up down side side 360 at the arms and then the expressive neck joint where you can go up down side side and all that good stuff which I do love no knee articulation at all and then the straight arm and the bent arm that's all she has for articulation you know and she 
you know, kind of goes at the waist. But I do enjoy a model muse body, especially on one that has a ball gown. That's usually what I use when I make my ball gowns. Now the dress they had tacked in funny, like three different places, which, you know, with this fabric being as cheapy as it is, I didn't enjoy that. And I've noticed, I don't know what's going on with that, but I noticed when the bright lights hit it that mine has some guess staining. See those little dots? I don't know what that's about. Don't love that, obviously. Don't know what happened, why it ended up having those spots, but I'll see if I can get them out eventually. Like I was saying about the fabric, this is not the nicest fabric. This down here, and neither is this. The nicest fabric on the whole dress is this tool stuff, this sparkly tool that they have, and it's only right here and right here at the top, like kind of a corsage flower. Now this here, this sat me at the bust that's like the corsety deal, is nicer than this here or this at the bottom, but it's not the nicest. It's not very nice fabric. The ribbon that they used for the cross shoulder is kind of nice, but again, with 90% of the dress being made out of this like crepe papery, like cheapy, you can hear it, that cheapy fabric. It feels almost like that stuff that comes on those dresses you get and the packs from AliExpress and stuff for a dollar a piece. So that I don't love, honestly, for a doll that costs as much as she does. Getting her out of the box wasn't too bad. It wasn't the greatest, but worst part was they had her hair trapped in. They had it sewn in with this thread and I didn't care for that. And I really didn't want to cut her nice, pretty red hair, but I got it. Now talking about the dress, I already kind of went through my spiel about how I feel about it with the fabrics, but it does have the nice Velcro at the back. Mine just isn't, you know, done up right. That's not a big deal. I can fix that. No big deal. You know, for holiday Barbie, I wish that it was nicer. I really, really do y'all. I'm not trying to be, you know, overly picky, but a doll that costs as much as this does, I think that it should have nicer fabrics. That's all I'm saying. But the reason I got this lady is this face. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at this face. Is this not one of the prettiest faces? Oh, I love a side glance. I really, really do. And this face mold is gorgeous. If they don't use this on something else, I'm gonna be super upset that this is the only way you can get this face mold because it's super pretty and it deserves to be where other people can get it and don't have to get this exclusive doll just to get this face. It's so expensive, but you know, I have her and I'm glad that I do. Just can't get over this face. I love the pinky pink, pinky pink lip that she has and these like, they're like teal almost colored eyes. They're not blue, they're not green. They're like a blue green. They're really, really pretty. I love the screening, how they did the lashes. The eyebrows are nice. They didn't go too light or too dark or too crazy with the color because she has red hair. Sometimes they're not very good at that. They don't match it and make it look natural like it should, you know, with the eyebrows, but these are pretty. And she does have these little simple curl ball earrings, which I do enjoy those. Honestly, love, love, love this beautiful face. Cannot get over it. I'm so happy to have her. Now, since I've been doing all this with you up close with her, the hair is horrendously crunchy. Like all the curls are like rocks. I mean, I could knock these on the table and they would sound like a rock. A lot of them are smushed, you know, from the packaging. Like, look at that. Look at how flat those are. That's horrible. But up here, where it doesn't seem to have a lot of product on it, it feels pretty nice. And it looks as though, yeah, it's rooted pretty thickly, which I do enjoy that. I am definitely gonna have to remedy this hair. This is awful, y'all. Like, look at how hard it was for me to push that to make it flat, like, ugh. Yeah, those are rocks. For me, in my opinion, as an adult doll collector, I would give the cutie reveal here about like an eight and a half, simply because, you know, I wish she had more articulation. The hair quality is not the nicest, even though it's pink, pinky pink, and I love that. This stuff is made really, really well, and so are these boots. These boots are awesome, and I love most of her little accessories, you know, the comb and all that stuff, and the cute little skirt and her little reindeer pal. All of that stuff I love. It would be a 10 if she had not this molded on stuff that I don't care for, but you know, I've learned to live with that. And if she had better hair quality, it would definitely be a 10 because most of the stuff in this doll, I really do like, but that's just my opinion. That's just how I feel. I am glad to have her. I would say if you love pink and if you like the cutie reveals already, definitely get her because she's super adorable and all her stuff is really nice. Now, as for this holiday Barbie beauty here, her face and hair color gets its head. The fact that it's crunchy, don't love. But her face and her hair color are a 10 to me. 
The rest of the doll is like, I don't know, like a six maybe, because I do love the Model Muse body, don't get me wrong. And I love, they actually do have a stand with this doll, but the dress just lets me down. I'm so sorry, that's just my opinion. This dress could be so much nicer. There is no reason for it to be made out of these super cheap fabrics, like I said, especially for how expensive it is. But overall, if I had to average it together, I would give her about an eight because, you know, of how much I love her face and her hair. And I do really like the Model Muse body. Body. I just, the dress, like I said, and the shoes, they're nice shoes, but I can get those same shoes in those cheapy packs that you get from like Family Dollar and like the dollar store and stuff. So to me, that's just not that fantastic, you know, for a holiday doll. I want a holiday doll to be, you know, spectacular, you know, in my mind. And I'm definitely going to make her a different dress just because of that, you know, because I love ball gowns and I think she deserves something pretty or something better. I would definitely have to say though that she is a buy because of her awesome face. So. That is my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this holiday semi-pink Wednesday deboxing. I am glad that I'm getting to add these two to my collection and I have to thank you so very much for being here with me on this holiday and for watching. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy and safe, having a great, great Christmas holiday season and that all the good best things that are in this life that can come to you, I really truly hope they will. I have to say, great big huge 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 lovely semi pinky pink Wednesday subscriber love to all you wonderful lovely subscribers I cannot say enough how wonderful how great how awesome all the good words that y'all are I thank you so much for literally everything the likes the comments the sharing everything helps gets us out there and makes our great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family that we have built grow even bigger by the day which I have to say bunches of thanks for you for you guys really are the best love 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 you guys if you haven't subscribed yet I don't know what y'all are waiting for come on y'all join us in my wackiness that I have here my Dolly silliness my Dolly craziness all the fun stuff that I do that's Dolly related right here for you to have a safe Dolly space a fun Dolly time when you're here with me so come along join us see what Dolly silliness and craziness we get up to because we would love to have you and absolutely everyone is always welcome here well y'all we did it this semi pink Pinky Pink, deboxing, holiday, Christmas, Wednesday. So y'all know what I'm gonna say. Merry Christmas, happy holiday, whatever you celebrate, and bye y'all!